Every athlete has a defining moment. Where everything slows down. Time stands still. The moment you shape history, become immortalized. You enter uncharted territory. This is not that defining moment. It's the moments before. and making sure he's lit LT1 and LT2, trying to get his LT1 as high as he possibly can. Just, it's cal calibrating now, so in 45 seconds it gives us a reading. Yeah, so it's 1.1 millimoles. All right. Huh? No, you still need to get cooled down first. I'll go into the air. Uh, yeah, you don't need a few calls in a bottle. It's, it was, it's empty.
burn a wood. Uh, home. Home. It's where I've grown up. Parents moved here when I was three. Uh, yeah, the more I travel, the more I like it. Uh, we're close to the sea, the foothills of the mountains, I guess. And uh, yeah, every time, uh, every time I come back, I just really enjoy training. And every time I go away, I have a shit race. So I need to stay here now. when he's away on camp, he's, it's either him or his dad, isn't it, cooking for, cooking for everybody. Mm. You, can, you can cut this, you can cut this bit out. Yeah. My okay. son, this is what my son bought me back. For my beetha. For my beetha. How appropriate is that? Thanks, Sam. Hey, uh, Arthur, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't washed my hands, I better go wash my hands first. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, uh, no, probably big knife <laughs> and fork for the <laughs> chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Could you put Can I have a bit please? Of course. Uh, I don't know what plane I know when I lunch. Yeah, it was a quite late lunch. Yeah. Bon appétit! Bon appétit! Oh, two. Oh, sorry. Some veg. Can you put a scoop of my water on you? Do pass me your, pass me yours now. I'm not really, I'm not really making gourmet food here, am I? I'm just serving ice cream. Uh, I think so. Yeah, uh, some of them You can't. You can't kind of do it as a family home thing. And yeah. Yeah. If you want to live here. Like... Smile, Rich, on camera. Don't be silly. It's a rare thing, smiling. Five years older than me. I guess so, yeah. So we raced maybe when I was 13? <laughs> no, you were definitely older than that. No! At least 14. Okay, 14. <laughs> and you beat me? I did. And then I think we met at a party we used to train together. Well, we used to train in the same city in Montpellier, where lots of triathletes are, and lots of triathletes party. I think at the. And the short distance stuff after after most of the races, there's there's quite a bit of party. Well, quite there's a few drinks had and a bit of partying, isn't there? Seemed to be. Mm -hmm. and, um, no, only end of season. Ones. It used to be, but um, not so much. Not so much more. Yeah. 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 Coupe de France et tout. Well, yeah, only really. Right. It's there, Richard. It's true. But only at the end of the, only at the end of the season, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. But PTO PTO after parties are definitely a lot better than Ironman. There's no there's no. Is there's there no, any Ironman? No, there's no hospitals of Ironman, no. Because I've never been in That's the another reason to go PTO and not, <laughs> not Ironman. It's the cut-off 
that's why I, I prefer to keep it balanced. Right. <laughs> 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 And then Sam wanted a, uh, uh, let him tell you the story about the rear. Morning, how are you? Are you good? Are you? Uh, this ring is my mum's old jewellery that I convinced her to melt and get engraved with the coordinates of the Kona finish line. Yeah, so I'm dedicated to have to win it one day, I guess. It means everything, whether I whether I achieve it or not, we'll, we'll see, but um, it certainly makes me want to achieve it and um, I guess that's all that counts is the whole journey to, to get in there with the family. Yeah. There, there comes a point in society, I feel, where like you're not, like it's kind of like, I guess, adulthood and it's, you're not allowed to dream in a, in, a, in a sense because when you're, most kids always have these big ambitions and stuff and then over time it kind of gets dampened, like your confidence kind of gets dampened and um, so I got to the point where I realised actually my, the environment I was in, there was very few people who I could say, oh, I want to win, I want to be the best in the world. And um, so, I, and I'm a big believer in creating your own environment. So then I was like, okay, well, first of all, who are the only people that do believe in you? And m most of the time, that's probably just your parents. Even if you're, even if you're, um, I don't know, a school dropout, your parents will still probably have, uh, have faith in you. And um, not that I'm a school dropout. <laughs> not that you're a school dropout. <laughs> and yeah, so then you start kind of, I started with my family and then you kind of create a team which gets bigger and bigger and bigger, whether, I don't know, you start employing your physio or your doctor or your manager. And um, But it's a real skill trying to convince them as well, like to have the confidence in your project. And if you don't, if you don't show confidence, then they're not going to have confidence for you. They're not going to, they're not going to create it for you. So you have to be the person who initiates it I think yeah. without without I don't know without being without sounding cocky almost or without and that, that's quite a hard balance to come across as being confident rather than arrogant and I think that's something we've all kind of any anyone would struggle any youth athlete would would struggle with because they have to they absolutely have to believe in you have to believe in yourself if you don't if you don't believe if Sam doesn't believe that he can win Kona one day then why would anybody else believe it <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Ça c'est le cinéma le premier là qui est, ouais. qui est trop fort. Il faut que tu mettes à dessiner entre lui et. Of course. Lui il est trié grain par grain. Donc euh, ça. ça... Donc comme ça c'est. Le moment où on se dit c'est près des neiges éternelles. Au... Il pousse au pied des montagnes où il y a la neige éternelle. Ah, oui, j'avais vu un reportage aussi. Ah ouais. Il n'y a que là-bas qu'il y en a du comme ça. Lui il est. Et tu l'as dit, voilà, et gardez la monnaie, merci. Merci à vous. Merci à vous. Allez, bon.
uh, the training today is basically for Sammy's more aerobic work. Uh, he's a bit tired today, so we're just keeping it all nice and easy and getting used to actually swimming in the sea without a wetsuit, everything else ready for getting ready for the actual Kona. Uh, Archer, on the other hand, is doing a little bit of speed work because he's got to do, uh, he's getting ready for Ironman Pay de Gal and obviously has to get the starts and everything else sorted. So we've done a little bit of speed work, but predominantly it's endurance work. Uh, so LT1 uh, work today. I really enjoy the simple life I have here um, and the more the more I achieve in the sport and the more I do the more I realize how important that is just keeping a simple life and how how difficult it is because on the one hand I want to I want to be the best in the world but I still want to just be able to I don't know kick a ball with my brother you know my my parents as I said they obviously invested a lot a lot into into this project and still do now um, I think what separates my journey from anybody else's is the fact that I'm trying to do it with my dad you know I could choose I could choose any coach I wanted really I mean I have let's say I'm, I'm young I have the potential and I, I have the budget to, to pay any coach but um, what I want to do is I want I don't just want it for me I want us as a family to win Kona eventually and to be kind of on top of the world um, I know that I can really count on them which sometimes whether it's sponsors or managers or anybody else it's, it's much more difficult to have that same confidence in somebody and um, so yeah I feel that my family is really my strength.